Reporter John Gambrell is joining us live from Jerusalem. John, thank you so much for giving us some of your time. What is the latest you can tell us? Well, just minutes before you've uh, come on air with me, we've had a threat from Hamas. Hamas says that if Israel continues to bomb the Gaza Strip without giving warning for civilian, Palestinian civilians there, that they will begin executing, and that's their term, executing hostages from Israel that they seized when they came across the border in this audacious attack that started on Saturday. We're still seeing some violence, some fighting in southern Israel. The IDF, the Israeli military, is saying that they have been trying to mop that up, but there's still some violence down there. But again, this threat to begin killing these Israeli hostages is going to add yet another wrinkle to how Israel is going to respond to this. Already we've seen Israel launch many airstrikes on Gaza. You've got to keep in mind Gaza is this very tight seaside enclave that's about twice the size of Washington, D.C., to give you a sense of just how small it is. And it's been really having a huge impact. The fact that uh, Hamas has come out and made this threat may be a way for them to try to stop Israel from continuing to conduct these airstrikes, as Israel is also appearing to prepare for a ground operation, which would be the first ground operation in Gaza in almost 10 years, and could see even more violence break out in this conflict. And John, what are you seeing, you know, what are you hearing from people there on the ground? It's a really uh, interesting question because when you're here, I'm in Jerusalem right now as I'm speaking to you, uh, twice today we've had uh, air raid sirens go off, followed by loud booms that appear to be interceptor missiles fired by Israel to intercept these missiles coming out of Gaza. When you're on the street, you see people racing to try to get to a shelter. Some people kind of hide on doorsteps, look up to the sky to see the interception. And there's really a palpable fear that, and a palpable feeling that things have changed, that this is different than any other conflict that they've faced so far with Hamas over the last decade and a half that Hamas has ruled the Gaza Strip. And what you're hearing from the Israelis is that they want to have this complete and total siege, stopping fuel, stopping food, stopping electricity to Gaza, really shows that it's escalation on both sides over this attack, and that what we're going to see come now may be something that we haven't seen in this conflict so far. And we've heard the Israeli Defense Forces today say that they wanted to dismantle Hamas, meaning that we could see an incredibly long operation targeting the Gaza Strip. Yeah, we certainly could. Reporter John Gambrell live for us there in Jerusalem. John, thank you, and please stay safe. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.